know something about criminal neglect. So, Senator Paul, what's your response and what's your plan, sir? You know, I would say it's criminal neglect for Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer and Joe Biden to get together to send $100 billion overseas to fix someone else's border before addressing our border. We have an emergency. We have an invasion. We have 700,000 people came across in the last two months, and they're willing just to punt on that. You know, they put forward a fake proposal. It wasn't any good. We shot it down. But that doesn't mean we're ready to give up on it. Many of us want to fight. 32 of us out of 48, three-fourths of us said we wanted to keep fighting. We want to actually fix the border before we ship $100 billion of our money overseas. I meet no one in Kentucky, no conservatives across the land that are for this. But the leadership of the Senate under Mitch McConnell is more concerned with sending your money to Ukraine than they are with the invasion of the southern border. And I've had enough. I, I'm, I'm going to do everything in my power to slow down and stop this. And I told them they can vote when hell freezes over, mm. because, frankly, this isn't in the best interest of our country. The money has to be borrowed. We don't have 100 billion sitting around. We borrow 1.5 trillion and they're going to borrow another 100 billion. So essentially, we ask China for money to send it to Ukraine. It makes us weaker. It's bad for our country. Senator Rand Paul's emphasis on border security over substantial foreign financial aid raises concerns. Democrats prioritize shielding nations from potential threats for national security. The debate delves into individual and collective responsibility, exploring how governments handle border issues and allocate resources. This discourse resonates within Senate leadership, including figures like Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, and Joe Biden, criticized for neglecting border issues. It aligns with democratic values, stressing leaders' responsibility in protecting national interests. Existentialism highlights freedom and choice, urging psychologists to analyze government decisions' impact on individual liberties, especially national security and economic policy. As seen in Senator Rand Paul's critique, Examining the risks of borrowing from China for overseas venturees echoes democratic fiscal responsibility principles. Senator Rand Paul's stance reflects resistance and authenticity, raising questions about commitment to genuine values and actions aligning with the state's interests. Public perception plays a crucial role in supporting or rejecting such initiatives.